What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lorna Marie and I'm bringing you a what's in my purse video. I am so excited to show you guys everything inside my bag because I love organization. I love being prepared. I'm the person that's always like, do you have this? And I'm like, yes, I do. And I take pride in that. Okay. I love it so much. So if you guys are interested in this sort of content, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell. I do a lot of kits. I'm traveling full time right now with my family of six in an RV. So being prepared is definitely important to me. I will be listing all of the links and information for you guys down below, including my Etsy store, my website, and my Amazon storefront. Now, if you feel like depositing some positive energies, give your girl a thumbs up. I would so appreciate it. I love getting to know you guys. So even one little emotion it means the world to me. Also, come follow me on Instagram. I love when you guys recreate my kits and send them to me there. You can also find other information that you may not find here on Instagram. So anyways, and without further ado, if you guys want to see what's inside my purse and my handbag organization, then just keep watching. All right, you guys. So first of all, I want to show you my bag and I want to talk a little bit about like my organization style, why I carry so much and all of that good stuff. So I have done numbers of videos like this. I think the last one I did was six months ago. I was actually on the road. We were staying in different hotels and it was a smaller backpack than, than this. But since my lifestyle has changed, I definitely carry more on me. I also always have an EDC bag on me, which is like an emergency kit. I just feel safer doing that. So my purse contents have definitely evolved over time. Another important element for me is the way I store things inside of my bag. I always do things like a full file folder system. I like being able to look inside my purse and see everything at a glance. And I also organize by pouches. I wanted to show you guys what my bag looks Looks like from the top how everything kind of is in here like file folders I have the big pouch the EDC all the things like that I have things that I want accessible and then another thing I wanted to show you guys back here was this is where I stick my two pens in this little pocket here and then I put my mirror up here in the front here so in the zipper pocket I like to keep my wallet in here okay because that way it's nice and safe and then also in the back here i didn't show you guys i like to keep lysol wipes to go and these antibacterial wipes just in case i already have antibacterial on the outside but if i want to wipe something down where i feel like it's really dirty i will another thing i wanted to show you guys is i bought a second one of these phone cases i actually just really missed it and then i stuck one of these on the outside it doesn't stay when it's hot which is weird um, but my husband bought this little ring for me for Christmas and I stuck it on there. But I love having a purse strap phone so I don't lose it when I'm like hiking or anything like that. So I wanted to show you that stays on me as well as like a pair of sunglasses I'll stick on the top. These are one of my favorites from Amazon. Love them. This bag is fairly big, but just my type of lifestyle, it works for me. So please, if this is not like the amount of things you want to bring, customize it for you. You have to bring what works for you. You have to use the size bag. I'm just showing you everything under the sun that you can put in your purse to give you some ideas. <laughs> I was trying to decide how I was going to do the layout for this video, but for me, I have to see inside the bag. Like that's the most important thing to me. So I think what I'm going to do is split the screen up or just at least show you guys inside of my bag as I'm describing things so you can see where things go. I think that's really important. All right, first of all, we're gonna talk about my bag. This is a 31 bag. I love this so much, you guys, because it has my initial on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it kind of blends in, so it's not like just pow in your face, but I just love how subtle it is. Love the color of this. It also comes in black. It has a zip top, a top handle, and like I said, it is a backpack with adjustable straps on the side. It has a pocket on the side and you can stick things in here. I have my, what I always keep in here, I have a little flashlight, pepper spray, and a whistle and a little carabiner. Those are important for me to have just like very accessible. On the front here, I just have this little hand sanitizer so I can have easy access to it. And I have the most adorable keychain of my kids. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can also get these made on 31. I am just so obsessed with their bags, you guys. It, it was just a good fit for me to be using 31 bags. You guys know I love bags and I get to pick my favorite ones and customize them so I get to stick labels on things. 
love it so much then on the inside of this bag there is a zipper pouch in the top and then there are two little front pockets in the front of the zipper pouch and that is it for storage if you're interested in this bag i will put the link down below this bag is called the high street bag so you just want to put it in the search bar after you click the link and then you can add it to your cart put customization on it and there's different letters you can do this is the script or the signature excuse me this is the signature one so first i want to talk about the pouches and the categories that i have inside of my purse i would like to show you guys the categories first and then go through each pouch individually so first on top i have my first aid kit i always have a little first aid kit with me this is not my edc bag i have that in here it's a little bit larger but this is really small and sleek and i can fit everything that i need in here i love that then i like having a snack pouch with me if i want a little bit of a lighter weight i will take this out it doesn't always have to go with me if i'm going to like target and i'm just going on a quick run but if we're going to be out all day or we're in the car all day or something like that i definitely like stick my snack pouch in here i also transfer this back and forth to my day bag so i know i always get questions on this on which bags do i use when am i using all the bags are all my bags always packed and i always have a lot of things already in my day bag that i wouldn't necessarily carry on me all the time so it's partially packed and then i take things out of my purse and i stick it in my day bag and that bag can get a little more roughed up than this one this one's a little bit nicer and so for me that bag can go like on a hike with me it can go like you know to a national park or wherever we're going i can stick these things inside of there that i need like for my snacks i could stick my snacks in there and i would definitely stick my first aid kit in there and my edc bag so those would all go inside now my makeup pouch and um you know my mask bag those are not going inside of my day bag okay so i just showed you my mask pouch i have this here which i love how cute it is it's round and it's really flat so it fits in there really nice excuse my voice i'm like losing my voice I don't know if I was like yelling and excited somewhere. I don't know what happened, but I just showed a video on my EDC pouch. I will give you guys a little peek. I'll list it in the eye above so you guys can go check it out. But I always have my EDC bag on me. I just think it's so important. Even if I was carrying like a super tiny purse and my husband and I were going on a date night, I'll grab this and I'll just stick it underneath my seat. I just want to have this on me at all times. It literally has everything for any type of emergency some people might think this is doing way too much but if you guys watch ED other edc videos you will totally understand why and thank me later because there's so much fun to watch <laughs> next up i have my wallet this is just a really slim one i don't like having a big huge wallet i just like sticking my cards all in one little zipper pouch this is going to be hard to find i don't know maybe i can do it on those resale websites this is authentic so i don't know if i can link it but i will try then i have a little makeup pouch then i have this pouch which i absolutely love i'll show you guys everything inside like i said all of them but this is basically like my miscellaneous pouch it has everything that i need and it's all corralled instead of loose at the bottom of my purse so the first thing is my snack bag i'm just going to show this to you guys i'm just going to show it to you it's so cute it says total snacks total snack inside it has like a lining like a wet bag type of lining which is so cool i'll just show you some of the snacks i put in here i put some fruit snacks in here for my kids i put a couple things of candy i do like lemon heads you guys know i carry like lollipops and stuff like that inside of my diaper bag but i also like putting a few things in here and then i just have some organic chewy bars oh how funny i have a what is this a candy bracelet and then i have some nutella i don't even know i must have stuck this in here for emergencies <laughs> okay like i said this is my little pouch i have some really cute masks i put inside of here this is also from 31 you guys i was so excited to see this i didn't think this would be something they'd carry but you could put all kinds of things in here but i just have a few masks these are my sparkly pretty sparkly ones i have a silver one here Whoop, the same one all right so next up is the first aid kit now these are both sitting all three of these bags were just sitting on top there and these are easy and accessible now this container you can't get this this is from daiso but i just stuck some tums inside of here 
always get creative with your containers you guys like if you buy something from the store and it comes in a really great plastic container that you were going to throw away try to repurpose it that's what i really love to do especially if they're small and sleek like this then i just have some alcohol pads in here i have a small thing of neosporin then I have Dayquil and NyQuil inside. Then I have this tiny little thing. This is also from Daiso. It came in a little set. These are my Tylenol. So it's fitting perfectly inside of this little pouch here. Then I have um, this. I'm gonna put hydrogen peroxide in. And I always get this comment. They're like, oh, it needs to be in a dark bottle. It actually doesn't if you're not if it's not going to be exposed to sunlight sitting on a counter or something like that. This is gonna be in a dark place. This is gonna be inside of this bag, inside of my bag here, so it's totally fine. So that way I can clean the kids' scrapes and things like that on the go. It's just a little spray bottle. I'll try to link some similar products if I can find them for you guys. Then I have some Alka-Seltzer. Then I have some of these bandages, I forgot to mention. I have some of these like butterfly bandages for like really deep cuts. And then in the back here, I just have like multiple band-aids and that's all that is in this pouch. Also, I have earplugs. I have earplugs in this pouch and that's basically it. Like I said, I'm not going to go through this EDC pouch with you guys because there's, there's a lot in here. Okay. Like a lot, but just know that I have like extra medication. I have water purifying tabs. I have so many things. This bag is amazing. I love it so much. I like it better than my last one. I see a lot of you guys purchasing this bag and you are going to love it. It's very good quality. I love that I can put my initial on the front and I just like how it's more flat and wider. I feel like I can fit things better in here, better organization. All right, next up is my makeup pouch. You guys have seen these clear pouches on my channel for so long now and they have multiple different sizes. This is the small Og Bunny, I think it is. Og Bunny, I don't know, something like that. But they are such good quality, you guys. They're clear and they're perfect. There's nothing I would change. Actually, I would change if this was gold. I would love for that to be gold. I usually use bags with gold hardware. But I'm gonna just go through a few of these, my favorite products in here, because why not? We're showing you guys what's inside my purse. So this Revlon is so good, you guys. I use this all the time. It's a matte lip mousse. So it's not a liquid lip, but it's very thick and it's a little more dry. That's not dry, it's a mousse. That's, it's the best way to describe it. It's really, really good. All right, I love the lip liners from ColourPop. I just have a red and a pink in here. Not sure the name of those. Then this is by Jouer. I have a really pretty lip gloss I put in here. Love Stila Liquid Lips. This one, I think it was like, I forgot the name of this one. It rubbed off the bottom. But the Stila Liquid Lips are my all time favorite. I love that one. This is $13.79 by Hard Candy. I actually got this from the Dollar Tree. It's what I'm wearing on top of my lips right now. Love this so much. If you guys can get your hands on it, I gave one to my friend. So when I go back, if I find these, I'm going to stock up. So hopefully you don't have the same Dollar Tree as me. <laughs> um, then this is Natasha Denona. This is the Matte Peachy Nude. I also have this on my lips with a darker pink lip liner. And then I put that gloss on top. So I like the combination. It gives like more of like an ombre effect. And then I just have a Buxom lip gloss. Then I have this really pretty um, brow and lash brush. So I had put lash extensions on. Got this from Amazon. I love how pretty it's got like crystals inside of it. I'll try to find it. It's older. So and then the, this is a Sigma little brush. So that way if I start like creasing, my eyeshadow starts creasing, it's just a little travel size. And then I also have this brush. If you get creasing under your eyes, you just come under here and sweep it away. So love having these two brushes on me. All right, then I just have some, some Neutrogena wipes. Sometimes at the end of the night or end of the day, I just really want my makeup off. Maybe I was out in the sun and it just feels like it's dry or something. I will wipe my makeup off in the car. I love having those. I have this little Revlon set. It came with two, but I think I stuck my other ones in another pouch, but it has these little tiny tweezers that I like having on me. And then I have some extra lash glue just in case. And then I bought this setting spray at the Dollar Tree. This is by LA Colors. 
but when it runs out, I'm going to refill it with my own setting spray. And I just like having this on me as well. All right. So next up, I don't know if you can see the L on this pouch, but I also have an L here. This is the one with the dots on either side. If you're interested in, um, which type of customization. And then, like I said, I do signature. I always just, I love the way the L works from like old school Laverne and Shirley black and white show she would she would always wear L's on her shirt so I was always happy that I had an L because I just love how pretty it is in cursive so this pouch is also 31 and what's cool about this is if you want to stick it in a backpack or something else it's actually expandable isn't that awesome so you could use these as packing cubes you can do all kinds of stuff with this but I really really love that it's so versatile and you can change the size of it so let's get in this bad boy next up I have this tape measure and I just like having this on me if you ever buy anything for your house or we're actually looking for a new couch right now I just like having a tape measure on me and look how beautiful this one is I've shown you guys this before but it's so pretty it actually comes in a set of two I think that's a circle one but I have the square one so next up I have this pouch I got this it's a three divided pouch from Target dollar spot I just have extra alcohol wipes because I like wiping my phone down and then I have some eyeglass wipes and then I have more Neutrogena face wipes just in case so love having this divided little thing it goes in that pouch there then I have this is part of like my little medicine pouch I have medicine everywhere because I just feel like if I leave one or I lose one I want to make sure I have it and I've done that before where I left one at home but I was lucky that I had another set on me NyQuil and DayQuil in here electrolyte mix and then I usually have some vitamin C packs in here but we are all out of those then I have floss. I cannot live without floss. Love ha having it on me. I got these Ziploc bags from the dollar store, I believe. All right, so the next thing is this little bead round. I got this from the Dollar Tree and I made it my medication. I've shown you guys this before. I have multiple of these. Yes, I don't just have one and put it from bag to bag. I have a lot of these. They're in my emergency kits all over. I have one in the car, one in my purse, one in the diaper bag. They're everywhere. And I just buy bottles that I need and I put them into everything. And then if it's not two, I'll mark it a one so I know how many to take on the back and I labeled it. And then the front is also labeled with all of the different kinds of medication. All right, then I have some toilet seat covers. I don't, I can't even tell you how handy these are to have. Always have these on you and I always have some tissue on you just in case they run out of toilet paper or you need to blow your nose. Love having this. So I took it out of a little container. I got this particular one if you're wondering why it's so square from the dollar spot at Target and then I stuck it in one of these zip lock bags so I just like having these little ziplock bags it's just so convenient but gotta have the toilet seat covers okay the next item that is really cool is this little spray container and it has three different bottles inside of it hand sanitizer hairspray and a SPF spray that is all inside of here which I love having all of them and it's so convenient just to have this little thing on you next up I always always carry a straw with me and it has a little cleaner in here. I don't, I think this is so old, you can't find the same one, but I will link a similar one for you guys. I use that every single time there's paper straws. I cannot do a paper straw, it kills me. Then I have this Chance Chanel perfume that my husband bought me for Christmas one year. It comes with like a set of other two, but I'll try to find this. Love how small and sleek it is. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's like light pink. Then I have these. I don't think I'm going to be able to find them. If I remember correctly, I've shown them to you before. But I lost my headphones. They normally go in here. I'll link them down below. I love my headphones. And I put them in this little container here. And I'll probably stick that in one of the front pockets instead of that big pouch. I just stuck it in there. got stuck in there on accident. Then this is another little pouch that I have. I know this one, you could probably get this one used one of those sites. Or you can just go to a Louis Vuitton store and pick it up. But I just keep a tampon and extra pad and wipes in here love having that ready to go just in case there's an emergency I have this pen which has like a giant diamond on the end which is so beautiful then this is a little brush that if you're wearing your hair up it'll smooth out it'll also get rid of like the flyaways you can spray a little bit of hairspray and get the flyaways away you can also part your hair here there's some dirt in there but you know it was rolling around in my purse then I have this lotion oh my gosh this is one of my favorite scents. If you don't like sweet scents, this won't be for you, but it's called Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. One of my favorites. So I just stuck that in there because it came with a little set that I got from Target. 
and mm, mm -hmm. fun fact for you guys if you put lotion on your chest um, first and then you spray your perfume it will actually last longer and the, the scent will be stronger so if you didn't know that already All right, the last two things in this pouch well there's multiple things in here is this little container and then this little zipper pouch I had an extra pair of socks from the Dollar Tree that I stuck in here that I already used because we had no clean socks. Why or how does that happen? I have no idea. But I'm also going to stick an extra pair of clean underwear in here just in case. I think it's good for all women to have that on them. And Oh, and this pouch is from the Target Dollar Spot as well. I just, when I saw these there, I didn't always see them, so I just stocked up and bought multiple ones of these. Okay, next up in the pouch is this container this container is from Dollar Tree as well I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls if you guys are new here and definitely follow along for that because I find some really good stuff but this color is amazing I actually recently just found another set too that I purchased I have a bunch of little things inside of here my little toothbrush fell out but I also keep this little tiny Colgate toothpaste I'll link a similar version down below but not it's not Colgate I couldn't find the Colgate one. I believe it's 10 grams. This is a 10 gram toothpaste if you're interested why it's so small. It's smaller than the travel size ones, which is so nice it fits in things like this. I have some nail clippers. I also have bought a bunch of these. I have two inside of my EDC kit that has, it has lavender and tea tree oil on the go. And then I also put some castile soap inside of here. So that way if I need to wash my hands or something, it's very concentrated. So all I need is a little one and it's a little glass bottle for essential oils, but it works great for that as well. I have two things of eye drops, so I'll probably take this one out and I'll keep this one in there, have some Visine. And then I also have this little Mickey case, which came from Daiso. And then I just have some contacts inside of there. And then there is this little thing down there. I believe that is for wiping off my glasses. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my what's in my purse video. I had so much fun bringing this video to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found any value in it, definitely give your girl a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time I post a video. If you've made it all the way to the end, leave me a sunshine emoji and let me know that you did. When you guys watch my video all the way through, it just means the world to me and I truly appreciate you guys. Also, don't forget to come follow me on Instagram. And also another tip you can give me is sharing my videos or my channel with your friends and families. Thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time, I'm always your girl Lorna Marie. Bye. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in the